Welcome everyone. The first step to activate eSIM is if you have not set up your iPhone yet, head to the setup mobile service screen and then skip 20 seconds further into the video. If you are able to see the home screen and the lock screen of your iPhone, then the first step is we need to head into the settings app and inside of the settings, make sure that you are connected to a Wi-Fi network. Then you should see here, mobile service or cellular service. Tap on mobile or cellular service and then select set up mobile or cellular service again. Now you should see the same screen, whether you are on the setup of your iPhone or on the home screen. The first thing we should try is transfer from nearby iPhone. This will get your old physical SIM or your old eSIM from your old iPhone and it will transfer it to your new iPhone. So let's try this one first. We're gonna tap on transfer and then you should see the option to transfer phone number. If you do not see this option, what you need to do is inside of the settings, verify that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are on, and if they are off, tap the toggle to turn them on. And once they are on, head back, and then back into this screen, and then you should see the transfer phone number prompt. Let's tap on continue, and we'll give it a couple of seconds. We now need to enter a verification code, Sometimes it may ask you to scan using this new iPhone, a bubble, which is on your old iPhone. So you would just hold the iPhone in front of you and have the camera scan the code. But it wants us to enter in numbers. So enter in what you see on screen. And unfortunately, my SIM card does not support being converted into eSIM, but if yours does, excellent. Follow the on-screen instructions to transfer your old eSIM to new iPhone or your old physical SIM into eSIM for your new iPhone. If you can't do the transfer, then let's go back into setup mobile service and we're going to select use QR code instead. When we tap on use QR code, we need to scan a QR code for our eSIM. If you are a little bit confused, let me show you what it should look like. Your carrier should send you a QR code either in your emails, which you would need to use either your old iPhone or a computer to open, or you would have a physical piece of card with this QR code. What you need to do is on your iPhone 15 Pro Max, you need to scan that QR code. So just make sure the camera is in the frame of your iPhone and then scan. As this is a sample QR code, it's giving me an error message, but for you, it will add, it will ask a prompt to add that phone number. And then once it's added, you'll be in business. If you do not have an eSIM QR code from your carrier, you will need to call your carrier company and ask them to give you an eSIM let's say you have a physical SIM card, you can ask them to convert your physical SIM into eSIM, and then you will get this QR code into your email. The iPhone 15 Pro Max supports dual eSIM. So if you want to have two eSIM set up, once the first eSIM is added, you should see a screen like this. Make sure you're in either the mobile or cellular service settings. You would then have an option to add eSIM. Tap on add eSIM and repeat the same instructions as you saw earlier to add a second dual eSIM into your iPhone 15 Pro Max. You can also in mobile service, change the mobile data options such as turning on or off 5G, turning on or off mobile data. And if mobile or cellular data is on, 
we can then configure personal hotspot as well. If personal hotspot isn't showing, you will need to contact your carrier to get them to remotely enable it. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.